In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to get your DAW, DAW, or Digital Audio Workstation working with your new Antelope audio interface. This time, we're looking at Ableton Live 10. This is not going to be a getting started with live video. There are plenty of sites online that can help you with that. In this video, we're going to look at configuring your new interface, in this case, the new Antelope Audio Orion Studio Synergy Core, to work alongside Ableton Live. Then we're going to look at how to configure the Antelope Audio software control panel for basic recording and playback. The first thing to do is to tell Live which interface we wish to use. Go to the Live menu, then to Preferences, then to the Audio tab if not already selected. Choose the driver type, that should be Core Audio if you're on a Mac, or ASIO if running under Windows. Now set Orion Studio 3 as both the input and output device. If the Orion Studio 3 is not listed here, please refer back to the first tutorials in this series to make sure your hardware is installed and configured correctly. Below the interface selection, we can set up the input and output configuration. While Live does have audio recording functionality, its primary function is for sample playback, sequencing and looping. So there is maybe not so much need to allow Live to see all 32 input and output channels from the Orion Studio Synergy Core. However, if you do get into full multi-track recording, or you require multiple outputs, this is where the routing can be configured, and this can be changed at any time. Here we can also set up the sample rate for our session and the sample buffer size. As a rule, use a small buffer size for tracking and a larger buffer for mixing. Live usually calculates the latency for you here so you can see any delays in your system. Anything below 10 milliseconds will be inaudible to the human ear. The next important setting to check is the clock source. In a basic, single interface setup, always choose Oven. This is the name given to the internal clock of most Antelope Audio devices, with the exception of the discrete range where it's called Internal. In more complex setups where you have other external digital or analog gear being used, you may wish to change the master clock source. This is done from the control panel. However, it is essential that a solid clock source with a single clock master is provided. If you find you're getting clicks and pops in your audio, it is more than likely that there is a digital clocking issue that needs to be resolved, as these clicks and pops will make their way into your recordings. It's worth noting that in this tutorial, the interface is connected to the computer via Thunderbolt. Most of the Antelope Audio range of interfaces also offer USB connectivity. When connected via USB, the clock source icon will display USB. However, the unit will still be using the internal Antelope clocking system. Using the USB connection also locks the sample rate and clock source of the audio interface to that specified by the DAW. A Thunderbolt connection allows manual adjustment of both the sample rate and clock source in the control panel. However, until you're a little more experienced, we advise you let the DAW set these up for you. We can now configure the Orion Studio Synergy Core control panel with the input and output connection types that we need. I'm going to show you how to route the 12 mic pre's of the Orion Studio to the first 12 channels of Ableton Live. Think of this as your first steps in configuring your interface. In the Orion Studio Synergy Core control panel, select all 12 preamp nodes in the input section and drag them down to line up with computer record channels 1 through 12. Computer Record is another name for your DAW input in the Antelope routing matrix. Let's also make sure that Computer Play 1 and 2 is routed to our main monitor outputs and our headphones. Think of Computer Play as the DAW output. This now means that anything set to record on channels 1 through 12 on Live will be recorded from the corresponding channels 1 through 12 on the interface. Also, anything routed to playback from outputs 1 and 2 in Live will be routed to the main monitor outputs and both headphone outputs on the Orion Studio Synergy Core. 